In this variations video, I'm going to play a game of solitaire to demonstrate a house rule called atomic. Atomic includes hands that are not on the American Mahjong card. I like to call these hands a Cantonese sampler. Since this is a house rule, it is not sanctioned by the National Mahjong League. So if you need support, don't call them and ask them for help with atomic questions. I don't know how that would be received. Also, if you post a question on social media about atomic, you may get pushback from purists, people who play by the rules. So proceed with caution. Oh yeah, and I would not recommend this for beginners. I think it would be very confusing to have them play hands that are not on the card. I would save it for advanced players, avid players, connoisseurs of Mahjong, party goers, etc. But I think not beginners. I think that would be very confusing. But you can do it however you want. Since it's a house rule, you decide. Let's get into the rules. When you play Atomic, you just don't willy-nilly play whatever you want. You have to qualify. The qualifier is that your drawn hand has no flowers or jokers. No flowers, no jokers, you can declare Atomic. You put some kind of token on your rack, a penny, a figurine, or a tile. I printed some stickers of a little atomic symbol and I printed it on labels and stuck them on these tiles. These are blank tiles. So if somebody declares atomic, they'll put this on their rack. And that signifies that they are atomic. They are not going to play an American Mahjong hand. They're gonna play a hand from the Cantonese sampler. So again, you cannot have a flower or a joker in your drawn hand. You declare that you're atomic before the Charleston. During the Charleston, the players at the table cannot pass you a flower. Although I don't know why anybody would want to do that. I do that as a rarity, but sometimes if you are set, especially if you're playing a big hand, I might pass a flower, but if somebody's atomic, you can't. So it does put a burden on the other players at the table. So keep that in mind when you're making your choice. Once you declare atomic and place the marker on your rack, you go through the Charleston and then you go into the pick and discard phase of the game. If you draw a joker or a flower, you are no longer atomic and you need to announce it. You remove the marker and you have to find a hand on the card thereafter. That's the kicker. And depending on what stage of that pick and discard phase of the game you are in, could be easy, could be very difficult. Let's talk about the hands. I call it a Cantonese sampler because the hands are from Cantonese style. Seven unique pair. Seven unique pair. No flowers though. Some people do play that Kongs are allowed as two pair. So again, ask for a clarification of the rules in regards to seven pair. Is it seven unique pair or are Kongs allowed? The other hand is three Kongs and a pair of anything except flowers. Another is four Pungs and a pair of anything except flowers. And finally, four sets and a pair where the sets can be three in a sequence or three of a kind and a pair except no flowers. And then there are variations of all of those. 
But those are the four basic hands from Cantonese style that are generally allowed in atomic hands. The value of the hand is anywhere from 50 points to a dollar if, if the player wins with an atomic hand. Again, during the pick and discard phase of the game, if you pick a joker or a flower, you are off atomic and you have to pick a hand or switch to defense. Let's play a game of solitaire and see what happens. All my tiles are out. They've been mixed and built into walls next to the racks. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. East will get 14, Southwest and North will each get 13. All right, let's see if anybody can be atomic. East cannot be atomic because they have flowers. So let's see what we could do here. We have a pair of sevens, five, seven, eight, nine. I'm thinking consecutive, six, seven, eight, nine, five through nine. We do have the flowers there. I'd like to leverage them. Maybe five, seven, nine, five, seven, nine. Let's keep odds. Let's see, five, seven, nine, one, three, five, seven, nine. Let's give up the nine dot. Okay, we're gonna look at south now. Okay, well, they're not gonna be atomic because they've got jokers and a flower. Let's see if we could have them play a quint. Two, three, four, five, quint. With all those jokers, I want to try to play a quint. There's the first hand under quints, it's one suit. If we don't play that, we could maybe do two, four, six, eight. Here's a six and an eight. There's tiles we can pass. Let's pass the eight with that. Okay, let's see what we can do for west. We can declare atomic here. No jokers or flowers. So I'm gonna put a marker up. So here we have an identifier that says we're playing atomic. We're gonna go for seven pair. That seems to be the most common, seven pair. Actually, you know what? Just for the sake of this exercise, let's allow all the variations. Seven pair, four sets in a pair, all Kong, all Pung. Let's just, no holds barred. Let's see what we can do for North. They have a flower, so they're not gonna play atomic. This is the only player that qualifies. For atomic and we're gonna try either seven pair or maybe all pung and those by the way are concealed hands you cannot claim a discard to complete the hand you have to draw everything yourself until you're ready to win so for this player I think we could definitely try for odds look at all these odds we have a pair of threes let's give up the three crack because we've got a three covered here Okay, so we're gonna do the Charleston now. You cannot pass this player a flower. So we're gonna have east pass to south, south to west, west to north. Let's see, we've got pairs here. It's kind of arbitrary right now. And then north down to east. So here we go. We're looking for odds, 579, maybe 579 with news, and we have tiles to pass. 
There's five, seven, nine in one suit with news. No flowers for that hand. The concealed hand, I think we could probably focus on big odds, but we have tiles to pass, so we really don't have to pick a hand yet. We're looking for cracks. We can pass those. Okay, so here we didn't get any keepers. And really any of these could come in. Let's pass the dragon though. I'm just thinking when I play, I try not to pass dragons. So let's, let's see if we can hold mixed suits and mix numbers and see if we can get a hit. We got a seven dot, three, five, seven, nine, five, seven, nine, two, four. We could play like numbers with sevens. Let's go ahead and give up the five bam. So we went first right, now we're gonna go across. So east and west pass. And then north and south. Five, seven, nine. Let's pass those three. Five, seven, nine. Oh, we got a keeper, a two, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this, I would break that up. Let's pass an eight. We could maybe keep the flower and do something consecutive with a flower. Let's see if we paired up. Nope, we did not pair up. So here we have Let's try to do mixed suits. Let's pass those three. Okay, three, five, seven, nine. If we can get a one dot, that would be kind of nice. Let's pass those and the nine bam, because we could always play like numbers with sevens and hold that for joker bait. So we went across. Now we're going to do first left. North passes to west, west to south, south to east, and east to north. Five, seven, nine. Here's five. Five, seven, nine, nines, one, four, eight. Let's break these up. and pass those three. And focus on five, seven, nine, or five through nine. We're looking for cracks here. We might be able to do something with the red dragon. I don't think so though. Uh, there is there is one hand that uses flowers with consecutive run and the dragon. Let's just hold it for a little bit. Um, but that would mean discarding like numbers, and I would not do that. Let's pass it. I think that's risky. We paired up right here. Pair, 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 pair. Four pair so far. Or we could pung these maybe. So let's, let's keep, let's pass defensively. Now, the six has been going around, I think. Let's see if we can maybe get the six back. If you see tiles going around the Charleston, try to hoard them. So here's the three. Let's go ahead and give up the sevens and focus on one, three, five, seven, nine. This is a little risky because we have a gap, but if we go to five, seven, nine, we could always use this for joker bait. So that was first left. Now we're going to do second left. North to west, west to south, south to east, and east up to north. Okay, we got a six. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine consecutive run. Let's pass those three. We got a three, two, three, four, five. Let's pass those three. I'm thinking the two through five quint first hand. No keepers. The red dragon's been going around as has the six though. Let's let's pass those. Oops. Okay, let's see here. Red. Okay. I confirmed these were the right tiles. We're going to keep that. That filled the gap. One, three, five, seven, nine. Let's hold the flower and pass these three. So we did second left. Now we're going to go across. So east and west pass. And then, no, south and north, and then east and west. Okay. Well, we picked up a seven, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have joker bait and two tiles to pass. Five, seven, nine. If we play five, seven, nine with flowers, we're leveraging all the multiples. Five, seven, nine with flowers, third hand down, and we can pass fully. Let's pass the red and keep the six because we can use jokers for the eight and leave ourselves open for five through nine. Let's see what we have here. No keepers. Two through five is what we want. No keepers. So let's stick with it. I think the six might come back. Anytime you see tiles going around, see if you can keep them. I have the hardest time up here. There. One, three, five, seven, nine. We've got consecutive there. We'll just pass that along. So now we're going to do last right. North passes to east, east to south, south to west, and west up to north. No keepers here. That could be for optional cross. No keepers there. We did get the red back. Two, three, red. Let's pass two. Because we could play Kong, 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 pair. That's the convention for the one suit consecutive run with dragons, fourth hand down. Okay, we got a Pung. Now the rules include a hand for four pungs and a pair. We have a pair here. So let's keep the six and pass one, one blind and see if we can get the six back. We got a nine and we're gonna pass two. We'll pass one blind. One, three, five, seven, nine. This would be the very first hand under odds. So that was last right. Now we're going to do optional cross. So east and west pass. Oh, two. They only want two. That's fine. We'll pass these two. Let's pass these two. Sometimes four, six, and two suits hit or miss. And then north and south. No keepers, no keepers. We got the six back. Okay, they're one away. They need to pung here or here. Now they gotta draw it before they draw a flower or a joker. So we'll see what happens. No keepers, so we're done with the Charleston now. When you play Atomic, 
if you can, try to plan it so that you can fall back on a hand. For example, here we could maybe play like numbers. We'll see what happens. And then we could use this for joker bait maybe. Or we could maybe play 369. So we're going to get started now. They're atomic. If they get a joker or a flower, they have to switch and play something on the card. So let's discard. Seven crack. One dot. Let's get rid of the eight crack. I like getting rid of the year tiles. We're going to draw. Four dot. Let's just go ahead and discard that. Let's see if we can collect nines. Joker. Now, what we need is pair for the one, pung for the three, kong for the five, pung for the seven, pair for the nine. So we need five dots. Let's discard the south. We're going to draw two crack year tile let's discard and we'll come here now we have to decide do we want to play the quint or do we want to play two three red I think because we have two multiples if we had these in a multiple I might push a quint we don't let's see and that two by the way is a would be a pair for this convention you start with any number so this would be two, three, four, five. So the three would be a pong, the four would be a kong, and the five would be the quint. And we don't have these in multiples at all. So I think we're probably better off to play the fourth hand down under consecutive run, where we need a kong of flowers, a kong of twos, kong of threes, and a pair of red. So we could use one of these to help with that. Uh, so I think... I probably would not take, let's see, I would not take the two for the quint. I would take it though for a Kong for the consecutive run Kong hand in one suit. So we're going to Kong and then we're going to discard a one dot. And now it's this player's turn. Joker, they are no longer atomic. So we're going to remove the mar marker and now they have to find a hand and i think we should have them play either three six nine or like numbers with nines let's have them discard the four bam so they're playing a regular hand now and they need to recover three six nine maybe let's see what happens Let's get rid of this eight bam. We're playing five, six, seven, eight, nine, or five, seven, nine. Nobody can take that eight. There's an eight. Let's discard the eight dot and draw here. Two dot. We don't need that. Recovery time, south, not helpful. Eight dot, we're playing one, three, five, seven, nine. Let's discard the eight dot. It was already discarded anyway. Six bam, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's discard this four bam. And these are probably gonna be joker bait. We got the flower. We need to Kong, Kong, and pair here. Let's discard the four dot. One bam. Three bam. Six dot. They're probably gonna need to play nines they don't have any threes they do have the joker but they if they took a six they don't even know what hand they're playing i would not claim that i would i would let it go 
three bam that was discarded already one crack three dot three that's not helpful let's discard the five crack we'll see what happens we just need a pung here so that's probably gonna have to go away four crack so much for the quint there five dot and they're not ready for it they need another tile in there three bam let's see here a bam not ready for it five dot not ready for it we just went through the second wall now we're heading into the third wall so everybody should know what category they're in we're playing consecutive run consecutive run like numbers with nines or three six nine odds we're gonna draw nine crack we want a two and a three nine crack up here let's Kong we've got a push now to recover we're gonna try for like numbers let's discard the East first bit of Joker bait there didn't quite work West so we need flowers five dot so this hand up here they're going to need lots of jokers seven bam let's kong it so this would be five pair pung kong pung pair is the convention we're going for so we'll kong that and discard the red they need a pair so they can't take it eight dot north joker that's going to be helpful there are two five three five dots out so they're going to need yet another joker there let's go ahead and discard the one flower there the number doesn't matter the flower so now we need to get rid of that they're one away from that hand but they're going to need a joker flower was discarded we're going to kong it let's discard the five crack and we will draw here five crack was just discarded that's a good tile drawing here red let's discard that now there's two red dragons out here we're going to draw and we're going to exchange for a joker please thank you so now we we need pair pung kong pung pair let's discard the flower risky risky tile we're gonna draw they need a red and they got a green nobody wants the green so this is probably not good joker bait eight bam let's get rid of the east there are two eight bams out that would seemingly be safe flower discard no takers we're gonna draw two dot we'll discard the white dragon we're going into the middle of the third wall so you want to get rid of those risky tiles we have one discard here east they need a flower and a white dragon three crack let's discard the eight bam 
there were two out. I don't think there are any three cracks out. So here we're going to pung it and discard the two dot. So now it's this player's turn. Eight crack, discard. And we're going to draw up here. We need a flower and a white dragon, preferably oh, four crack. We'll draw here. They need a joker, white dragon. Okay, let's see. White dragon. There is a one, three, five, seven, nine with dragons, but they have two jokers they would need to get rid of. Let's go ahead and discard the three dot. Either way, we don't need that three dot. And we need flowers. There's a flower. We'll discard that. So there's one, two, three flowers, four, five, six, seven. So this hand is no longer viable because they need a pair of flowers. So they need to just play defense. We're going to draw. I have a feeling that's what happens to a lot of atomic hands. If you don't get set up, I mean, they were set up well for it, but the minute you draw a joker or a flower, you're done. Five, bam. And then you have to recover and pick a hand. And they had major gaps, no flowers. Okay, now maybe we could play three, six, six, nine. Let's go ahead and get rid of the three crack. And we're going to Kong it here. Now everyone's going to know what they need because they've got three exposures, four crack. But let's hope we can draw that red dragon. Let's draw up here. We have uh, the half of the third wall is where we're at now. They're ready to win on a flower. They're one away. They're they're one away. They need they they have five discards, but lots of joker bait. One crack. Six bam. We're going to pung it. And everybody's going to know what we're playing here, too. We may need to draw that nine bam. Let's discard seven crack and draw one dot. That is the second one dot. They need a pair up here. North. Let's see, four, four. Yep, they're good. We're going to draw now four north. Nine dot. Oh my gosh, nine, seven, five. No flowers. There are two ones out. I think we should get rid of the white dragon and draw. Six crack discard. Let's, we have a whole wall. Let's pung. Six, nine. We need three dot, six dot, but we can use jokers. Let's discard the green dragon. Nobody wants it, so those are probably safe. Four dot. Two bam. Joker. Don't need it. We need a red dragon. Can't use a joker with a pair. One dot. We'll discard that. This hand is no longer viable. Three one dots are out. We need to recover. And I don't think it's possible because all the flowers are out too. And the five, seven, nine hand requires flowers. So I do not think that hand is recoverable. Let's see. One, three, okay, seven, nine. Either way, we can draw four, bam, move the game along. 
I don't think there's anything they can do here. Flowers are not available. Two white dragons are out. They do have five, seven, nine, but they need flowers for those or five, seven, nine with news. Okay, well maybe if we can get news, let's draw down here. Mahjong, we just self-picked, picked it. Okay, consecutive run, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are two eight bams out, otherwise we could have maybe had a pure hand. A pure hand means that you have all natural tiles and it's double the value of the, of the hand. Okay, well, that was interesting. So we had consecutive run as our winner. This player was ready to win with a red dragon. There were two out and they were probably gonna have to draw it. This player needed three dots they would have started to throw these joker bait and this player was going to get rid of three dots but they wouldn't have been able to act on them because they had no representation with jokers or the three dot although there are jokers out for the taking including that one well there are two eight bams out this up here they could have switched to what was it Five, seven, nine with news concealed and nobody was playing wins. So let's see. Two east are out, two souths are out, a north and an east. Two east, two souths, a west, yes, or two north. So yeah, two of everything was out, I think. So that was completely doable. Five, seven, nine with news concealed. And we have a little more than a, a full wall. We have a full wall and a pick left. So that was relatively quick for this player. And this atomic player went down quick. I think the key to playing atomic is to Base your decision on whether or not you have a fallback hand in place for when you pick a joker or a flower. In the case of West hand, they had nines, green dragons, and an east. So like numbers with nines was a possibility, but they of course had no flowers. And both of the like number hands on the mock American Mahjong card required flowers. And that crippled that hand, that switch was crippled. So I think the key is having a backup plan, a plan B, a strong plan B <laughs> for when you pick that flower or joker. The interesting thing is when you need flowers and jokers, you don't get them. And when you don't want them, that's when you get them. I don't think I'll be playing Atomic anytime soon. I'll just stick with the National Mahjong League rules what about you? Do you play Atomic? And if you do, what rules do you play by? I'll include the rules that I know about under the video if you want to give it a try. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next variations video, may all your picks be keepers.